says, I kill and make alive. And I'll make you alive. Meaning what? I tear you down and I'll build you back up. Read. I wound. I wound, meaning he may not kill you. He may just hurt you. It may be a migraine. You might stub your toe. You might this. He may not kill you, but every time you sin, it's gonna be a judgment that comes behind it. Read. And I heal. He right. says, I kill and I heal. Read. Right. Neither is there any that can deliver up of my hand. And there's nobody that can deliver you. Go back to Judah. There's nobody that can deliver you out of God's hand. This your son, your grandson? Which one, your grandson? grandson. Okay, okay, these these are your people. But you know, today we walk right by each other like we don't know each other. That's our mindset now, not even realizing this is this is sis. This is my sister right here. So when I see her, I'm supposed to see me. Am I gonna let harm come to me? No. Am I gonna put dope in my arms? No. Am I gonna put poison in myself to kill myself? No. So why would I do it to my people? Because we don't give a damn about our people or each other. And that got to change. You know why? The older generation failed me. It's on you not to fail him. Because if you don't make a change in the community, you know what's going to happen with him. He going to grow up throwing up this. He going to grow up throwing up this. He going to grow up throwing up this, this, that. Why? Because we didn't set him up for, for success. We setting our kids up for failure. Because in our community, when we see a little three-year-old twerking, you know what we do? Our sisters go twerk right with him. Instead of sit your that's what you're supposed Bring to be doing. Right. But we jump right behind them, shaking little girl, shaking baby girl. What's Bring wrong up. with us? We destroyed. You know why? Because we've been separated from our truth. This Bible is our truth. It's our history. Read. Cursed shall that be in the city. So God says, if you sin against me, you're going to be cursed in the city. And cursed shall... Don't just look, come pull up. And cursed shall that be in the field. And you're going to be cursed in the field. They call Chicago the field. They call Chicago the city. My sister, you born and raised in Chicago out here? Yes. Do we look cursed as a people? Yes. Be honest, we do. We are, bro. We destroyed. Go to Hosea chapter uh, 4 verse 16. Give me that destroyed. We destroyed, bro. Because in our community, it's cool to kill another brother that looks like you. Bro, you got our people dying from stepping on shoes, bro. From stepping on shoes. Bro, you can't brother step on your show. You know what? Charge it to the game, bro. Hey, excuse me, bro. Just watch yourself next time. We don't even do that with each other. He stepped on the shoe, bro. Let me get that. Let me get that, bro. That's our mindset. Let me get that off you, brother. Hey, come here. And you chasing him down. Why? Because he stepped on your shoe? Oh, bro, looked at you and called you a B-A-N. Not, oh, you got to die. He got to die because of some words. What's wrong with us? This is what's wrong with us. Read. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people. So God says, my people. Because what the world don't understand, God don't love everybody. God got a chosen group of people that belong to him. That's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's who we are. We ain't African American. We ain't colored. We ain't Mexican. We ain't Puerto Rican. We ain't black. We ain't brown. We ain't spicks. We ain't none of that. We are the Israelites that you read about in the Bible. Read. My people. God says, my people. Or destroyed. Or what? Or destroyed. You know one of the reasons why we destroyed? Look at that. Look at that. God created the rainbow to be a symbol that I would never destroy the earth again. You know what the world did? They took that promise and they made it into some homosexuality. God says homosexuality is a sin. They took the promise that God gave to the earth. They took his prominence and called it pride. The scripture says pride come before destruction. You shouldn't want to have no pride. You should be proud of who you are, but you shouldn't be walking around, I don't need God. You know what I need? Just give me a Glock with an extension. Matter of fact, you give me a switch, I'll take over the whole world. That's our mindset. We destroy it. Why? Destroy for a lack of knowledge. For what? For a lack of knowledge. We destroy for a lack of knowledge. You know why? Because God knew it was going to come a point in time when we were going to be separated from this. So you, from, from our forefathers. So he gave us his word. So that when we go through hard times, we go back to this word. That's how they got us where we at. Because we separated from this book. We got to get back to the book. The book is the history of our people. The book got all the answers. But we let these, the world teach us, oh, the white man wrote that book. Ain't no white man wrote the Bible. When you read the Bible, we talk about the death and destruction of the whole white race. All of them. All of them thus said the Lord for what they did to you and your people. It's a judgment coming behind that. But what do our people do? So-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They drive up these streets day and night just waiting to die. Chasing the bag. Chasing the high.
then when you come out here and tell the truth, like, bro, we gotta change something. You know why? Because we're gonna fail the babies. We gotta set them up for something, but we don't care about each other. Just give me me, just give me my man, fuck them kids. I don't care about him, ain't my kids. That's our mindset. But that's your people. That's your people. That's your blood. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. We rejected knowledge. You know what it means to reject knowledge? Go to Amos chapter 5, verse 8. When you come out here and teach knowledge to the so-called black man, you know what he do? Oh, man, get out of here. We Egyptians. We ain't no damn Egyptians. And we ain't no damn Muslims. That's right. Muslim Islam is an Arab religion. We ain't no damn Arabs. We the Israelites according to the Bible. Bring it God has told the people, thus saith the Lord. Read. Amos 5 and 8. Ten. Ten. Verse 10. So let's just see what it means to re reject knowledge. They hate him. So this is the mindset of our people. They what? They hate him. The Bible says they hate him. That rebuke it in the gate. You know what it means to rebuke? Correct. So if anybody come out here and try to correct the community, bruh, stop pushing that fentanyl all out here, bruh. Our people are dying, left and right, dropping like flies. Babies is dying. How the hell you got babies dying from gunshot wounds? This is the mindset of the black man. This is the mindset of the Mexican man. Babies are dying from gunshot wounds. We ain't even talking about babies dying from cancer, hell, AIDS. Our babies are dying from being shot by bullets. Bullets are smacking the heads of our babies. And what the black man doing? Shit, it ain't my kids. And taking off. But if you come out here and try to tell the truth, they do what? They hate him. They hate you for it. Man, stop telling us to get our lives together. We just want to die like real niggas. That's all we want to be is real niggas. What the hell is a real nigga? A nigga is a, a, a product made in America. A nigga, you give him a chain, you give him dress, you give him a couple dollars, and it, it's something to get high off of. Bam, you got a nigga. Where's the real men at? Where's the men that go out to the community and say, this ain't right. We got to change this. We got to fix this up. We got men clean the block up. We were just cleaning up the community last week. Where are those men at? They gone, bro. And you know what we doing? We setting up the next generation for complete failure. My brother, you a Hispanic? It's so good. Let me come here real quick. I want to ask y'all this question. My brother, me familiar, hermano. Come here, come build with me. What's, what's your name? Ivan. Ivan? Yes. You a so-called what? Mexican, Puerto Rican, Dominican? Mexican. Mexican, right? Do you think that this is your brother? You don't know? Well, where are we coming from, obviously. What, what you mean, where we come from? Oh, you know, like that, 12 tribes and all that, where they come, you know, as you, you know, like, because the Bible is mentioned that Ethiopia, you know, the Ethiopia, all those places. Right, you got our people scattered in those places, but the majority of our people you find on that sign, the so-called Mexicans, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Colombians, Haitians, Jamaicans, once upon a time, we were a great nation on the earth. Give me that in Judas chapter five. Once upon a time, we were a great nation on this earth. These other nations look to you. That's why if the Mexican go tattoo a lot of tattoos on them, what do the Chinese men do? They want to go tattoo themselves up. Why? Because everybody follow what the blacks and Hispanics do on the earth. You know why? Because we're God's chosen people. God chose us to be special. Whenever you, you watch, which one of y'all watch boxing? Who watch boxing? You watch it here now. What's always the two races they got fighting in the ring? Black. Mexicans and black people. That's it. No matter of fact, Javante Davis coming up. Floyd Mayweather Canelo. They always pin us against each other. And they say, you know what, man, take this two million. And they about to make billions off our people. You say you was about to say something? Why? But that's the truth. They always pinning us against each other. You know why? Because if we come together, they wouldn't be able to rule over us. They wouldn't be able to just push dope in our communities because we had shut it down. You wouldn't be able to just kill no baby because you know what we're going to do? Hey, officer, he over here. Lock his ass up and get him out the community. We don't want no people that kill our babies out here. Take him. Hey, you out here selling fentanyl, your ass got to go to jail. Go to jail and push that shit in the county. That should be our mindset. And it ain't about not snitching. It's about making sure that the next generation is good. What do we want to do? Keep destroying each other till we all dead? We want to keep destroying each other till we all gone? I mean, what's the goal? Hey, my brother. My brother right here. Can I ask you a question? What's, what's the goal for the black race? You, ain't, you my brother, right? You look almost like me, so why you can't build with me? Because that's our mindset these days, bro. We don't see family in each other. You, I see, nowadays, we see an op. Deuteronomy 32, and then we're going to go back to Judah. This last one, I'm going to show you that. Because the world don't understand who God is. Like my brother right here. You read the story of Noah. Y'all read the story of Noah before, right? What did Noah do? 
Oh, Noah, you know, built the big, uh, you know, the big ark because God warned them about the big flooding, and then he and um, Noah tell to everybody to build an uh, ark on the middle of the nowhere where no no see, and they say no, he's crazy, and then they didn't want to listen to him, right? It's the same thing with us now. We come out here on the street and tell our people we gotta repent, we gotta wake up. They don't want to listen until the flood come, and then they're looking at Noah like, damn, Noah, let us in the boat, let us in the boat, Noah. It's too late. It's too late. People think that life just going to go on as it is. God is going to judge everything. Everything and everybody is going to be brought forth in the judgment. It's sad because you got squirrels, bees, dogs, lions. They all do what God commanded them to do. But you know what? Don't us. God will tell a dog, a female dog, and a male dog, go on each other and procreate. But the human one to go and put a rod inside of a man's butthole. And what? We're the only ones that don't want to do God's will. Watch this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 32. 39. Verse 39. See not I. Even I. So God says, see not I. Uh, the world don't know who God is. Because when you read the story about Noah, you get the beautiful story of the two animals and Noah building a big boat. They don't tell the part about God killing everybody in the earth for sinning against him. When God get upset, people die. They don't understand that part. When you see wars go, we are good over here. On the other side of the world, it's wars going on every day. You go to South America, you got wars going on. We could just go to the street down here and get a donut. And we think even in Chicago, it's a war zone. It's a lot worse around the world though, bro. And we think everything is cool, copacetic. We living in la-la land. Not even realizing judgment is coming closer to you and you and me. Judgment is nigh upon us. Read. See not ah. So God says, see. I am he. He says, see not I, I am he. The world got God confused. They think God is this white man with blind hair, blue. No, 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 no. When you read the Bible, the Israelites fear God. They call him a terrible power. You know why? Because God kills at will. When That's God. That's God. That's like the five minute alarm in Chicago. Every time you, every five minutes, rah, rah, judgment is going on throughout the city. You know why? Because people are in the midst of sin. Read. And there is no God with me. So God taking all the, the pride for it. Ain't nobody with me. When you see death and destruction, it ain't no Allah. It ain't no Buddha. It ain't no none of them gods. Read. I kill. Hold on. We're going to let this go by. More judgment. More judgment. More judgment. And they do weird stuff like that because they hate your people. Read. I kill. God says, I kill. And make alive. And I'll make you alive. Meaning what? i tear you down and I'll build you back up. Read. I wound. I wound meaning he may not kill you. He may just hurt you. It may be a migraine. You might stub your toe. You might do, he may not kill you, but every time you sin, it's gonna be a judgment that comes behind it. Read. And I heal. He God. says, I kill and I heal. Read. Neither is there any that can deliver up of my hand. And there's nobody that can deliver you. Go back to Judah. There's nobody that can deliver you out of God's hand. If God got you in his crosshairs, you F you see, you know the rest. You, you, it's, it's, a, it's a wrap. You know why? Because you played. He gave you warning after warning and you just wanted to continue in your sin. So you know what happens next? Judgment has to come. Because why? We hard headed as a people. When is the only time we cry to God? When the bills do? When we got a shit bag because of bullet hole? When we, when we messed up? Oh God! God please! Help me please! God please! And as soon as God filled us up, alright, never needed you. Then what, what we say, Seth? Never cared. That's the mindset we got now. We, we, we need God till we don't need him. Soon as stuff going back, oh God, let me beat this case, God. Come on, I'll never do it again. Send me back to the block, I'll never sell it again. And what do we do? Soon as he let us free, what do we do? Keep it, keep it above. Soon as he help us out, what do we do? Back to the, back to the BS. Like when it's tax time, oh man, let the IRS give me my money. Please, IRS, don't let it be no BS. Please let me get my money. Soon as God see the, send the check, what happens? Oh, never needed you, never cared. Watch this, last scripture, I'm done. Watch this. Yeah. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. Because this is what the nations know that we don't know. We don't know this because we too lost in La La Land. But these other nations know this, read. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, so this was a man of another nation speaking to a man of another nation. If I'm not mistaken, it was a so-called white man. Two white men speaking. Read. And they sinned against their God. So he said, my Lord, what he seen? He looked upon the nation of Israel once upon a time. He looked at these people and he said, my Lord, let us consider. Hold on, read that again, my Lord. My Lord and governor. He said, my leader. Read. If there be any error against 
and of this people. He looked on the nation of Israel. He said, man, my Lord, if there be any error or any sin in these people, read. And they sin against their God. They do what? Sin against their God. And if they in the midst of sin, like if you look over there and they over there being whoremongers, they over there stealing from each other, they over there killing each other, read. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. This shall be their what? This shall be their ruin. And that's the ruin for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Whenever we in the midst of sin, hating each other, not loving each other, not helping each other, God says this shall be their what? Y'all ain't come stop and build with your brothers. Don't we, hey, we the same people. Y'all got two minutes for your brother? Nah, not two minutes for your people. And that's our mindset these days. All our people just hopped off that bus, wouldn't even spend two minutes with their brothers. Because that's our mindset these days. We out here trying to help our people. We out here to tell our people death is on the way to Babylon the Great. That's right. Judgment is on the way to America. Judgment is on the way to America. Which side you gonna be on? That's on you. So God said, if you look at these people and you see what? And they sin against their God. And if they in the midst of sin, let us consider. Let us do what? Let us consider. So the white man said, if they in the midst of sin, let us consider. Let's meditate on this. That this shall be their ruin. This is how we destroy them. This is how we went from ruling the world once upon a time to being at the bottom. Because of what? That's what it's all about. We are here to tell our people to stop the sin. We have to stop the sin in our communities. But the only way to find out what sin is, is you got to search the scriptures. You got to search the Bible out. It's a way out of this poverty. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 